In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire themed quiz game in PowerPoint. 50 50 lifeline, you can choose the correct answer. You have sound effects, you have animations. You can go to the next question, choose the long answer, animation, sound effects, and everything. So let us get started. Why don't you hit the like button, subscribe button, and that will help me with the YouTube algorithm. So let us start making the best looking PowerPoint quiz game in the style of who wants to be a millionaire. First things first, I would like to have a logo and I have that open. Let me just copy the logo which I've got in Google Images and I'll paste it in slide number one. Perfect. Now let me start changing the color of the slide. I'll right click here and click on format background. I click on gradient fill and use one of the presets. But these do not look that good. An easy way to change the color of these presets is to go to design, click on this little arrow, click on colors, and I'll have violet too. This matches really well. So let me just choose a color theme. Let me reduce the size a bit. We can go to format and add picture effects. I'd like to have a 3D rotation. This looks good. We can also have some bevel effect to give it a 3D look. Hmm, cool. And at the end, I'll add some shadow. Now I'll choose the rounded rectangle shape and let me just draw that over here. And within that, let me type start game. We can also change the design of the shape by going and choosing any one of these formats. After we change the design of the shape, we got to change the font. That is an integral part. I like to use fonts like Ahalani or Century Gothic. Or if you want to use the same font as the millionaire, that is called copper plate. Now let me add a new slide, change the layout to blank. And now we are going to have a wallpaper that I have already selected in Google. This looks amazing. I'll copy this, go to my PowerPoint and paste it by pressing Ctrl V on my keyboard. Perfect. Now I'll copy this and I'll paste the same logo here. Just reduce the size a little bit and place it at the top. Beautiful. Now it's time to add our question. Let me take one more shape. Just draw it over here. And I'll click on alignment under shape format and choose align center. And now you can change the design of your question box. This looks good. Now type your question here. We can change the font to copper plate like we did earlier. Perfect. You can increase the size by pressing the shortcut which is shown on the screen. Now similarly it is time to have our answer boxes. So one more so one more rounded rectangle shape. Place it over here. We can change the color. Good and type answer here. And we can change the font to copper plate. Let me increase the size. Perfect. Now we are going to add some trigger animations. What does that mean? Basically, I'm going to change the color of the answer box once it is clicked on. So let me choose this as the correct answer. This is the correct answer. Now I'll click on the shape, go to animation, click on animation pane, and add an animation of emphasis under which we are going to have fill color. As you can see, the color is changing slowly. I can choose the green color in this case, and it becomes green. Here in duration, let me reduce it to say half a second. Beautiful. Now, once we have done this, we also need to go to the next question once we click on the correct answer. So let me open up one more box. Let me draw it over here. And this can be next question or just next. And I'll use the font Nexa Bold for this because I am in love with this font. It's such a good font. And change the shape to no fill and just have an outline. The outline looks really good. So this next button should appear only when we click on the correct answer. So go back to our animations add an animation and choose fly in. Let's bring this from the top. 
Okay, but this doesn't look realistic enough. Let's add some bounce effect. So this one is this shape, this animation, the second animation. I right click that, click on effect options and add some bounce sense. 27, okay. This looks nice. We can actually increase the size a bit and see how it looks. We can add a little more bounce. Let me add, okay. Yes, that looks good. So now we have the color change animation and the appeal animation. Now it is time to change the name of the shape so we know what we are doing exactly. So just click on any one of the shape, go to format, click on selection pane, and click on the collect answer box. You can see here that rectangle rounded corners is highlighted for me. It might be a different name for you, a different number for you, that doesn't matter. Just choose the highlighted box and change that to A1, which refers to the answer 1. Now click on the question and let us change that to Q, which refers to the question. Let me just zoom out, click on the next box and type here next. Perfect. So we have named the shapes. Now the next shape should occur only when A1 is clicked. So click on the next in your animation pane. Go to animations and click on trigger here. And click on click off A1. Now let me show you how it happens. Let me change this to start with previous. So the color change animation can also occur when it is clicked. So you can just drag it here. Or you can just click on this, go to trigger animation, on click off A1. Now both of these should occur at the same time. So click on the first animation, hold shift on your keyboard, click on the second animation, and in this choose with previous. Now if I go to slideshow mode and click here, you can see that it becomes green and the next button shows. Beautiful. Now let us add a sound effect because why not? Click on the shape, go to insert, and then click on action. Under action, there is an option of play sound. You can choose any one of these default sounds, but these are trash, do not do that. Click on other sound, and choose the sound effect which you like. I already have few collect and long answer sound effects. So I'll choose the collect sound effect, and click OK. Now, press Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard, and just drag the shape. Now in this, we are going to type the long answer. And change the name of the shape, the new shape, to A2. Now in this case, we have the color change animation. It has been automatically duplicated. Just click on that, go to animations, and under effect options, let us change that to red color. Perfect. Long answer is red. Now click on this shape, hold control on your keyboard and drag it. This will be our next option. Now press control and shift and drag it and this is our fourth and final option. Click on the third option and change the name to A3. Then final option, change that to A4. Nice. Now just reposition it. Now I select all these and just bring it a little higher. And this logo can be made a bit smaller. Now when I go to slideshow mode, the correct answer works, the wrong answer works, but the sound effects, the sound effects have not been changed. So let me just quickly do that. Click on the long answer button, go to insert, action, and play the sound, other sound, and choose wrong, and then click on OK. Let me do that very quickly with the other two boxes also. Since we have already uploaded the long sound effect, you can just click on it. And also remember that only WAV files are supported. So convert your MP3 into WAV if you want it to occur, if you want it to work in PowerPoint. Now let us go back to slide number one and add some effects here. I click on this logo, go to animation and have a fly in animation. And again, as you suspected, we are going to use the bounce feature because that makes everything look so much better. Let me change the bounce to say 32. Nice. And increase it 
increase the duration of the animation to 250. Now, see, just see how it looks. It looks so smooth. Now, after this, I'm going to add one more animation. So just click here and click on add animation. Do not click here or else this animation will be replaced. Click on the shape, click on add animation and use this T2 effect. Now, just follow me. Click on the T2 effect, click on on click here and put with previous and just delay it so that it is a bit after the main animation. Choose this and also make it with previous. So basically, these two animations will occur without you having to click on the slide. If I go to slideshow now, you can see how it looks. That motion looks really good. Now, just click on this, click on Animation Painter, and then click on Start Game. So the same animation is now applied to Start Game also. But in the Start Game's Fly In animation, I'm going to change the effect option after clicking on that animation to from bottom. This looks stunning. Now once I click on start game, I want to go to the next line. But even if I click anywhere, I'm able to go. I don't want that to happen. So what are we going to do? We are going to go to slideshow. Click on set of slideshow and click on blouse at the kiosk. This will prevent us from going to the next line by clicking on the slide or by pressing the enter key or the arrow key on your keyboard. Now click on start game, go to insert, click on action and hyperlink to next line. That is it. Now in the next line, let us have some transition. I would love to suggest morph transition if that is available because just look at it. The animation is so good, but you can see there's a white color flash. We can change that by changing the color of this line. If I move the shape, you can see it is white. So just right click here, click on format background and under gradient fill, just choose the gradient that we used last time. Close the format background tab and just bring this back. And now once we play the game, I click on start game. It looks super smooth. The animation is so real. Let me click on a long answer. It shows long. Perfect. Now if I want to have a feature that on click of a shape here, the correct answer must show up. If the student doesn't know what is the correct answer, we can do that by just clicking on this next button. Let me duplicate this. I press Ctrl and Shift. And then I drag it down. Now this shape is also called next. So we already know how to change the name of the shape. Click on format, click on selection pane, and as this shape is selected, the new duplicated shape, double click that and just type answer. Because we are going to reveal the answer once this is pressed. Let me just resize this. Now on the click of answer, the correct answer should appear. So click on this. Let us add one more changing color animation. So click on animation, click on add animation, and have fill color. In effect options, change that to green. Duration and trigger animation should be on click of answer and change this, right click, change it to start with previous. So now let us test the game out in various cases. Case one, I click on the long answer. Okay, sound effect, red color. Now what? Answer button. I click on answer. Okay, it reveals the correct answer. Now what? We need to have the next button appear after the answer button is clicked. So what can we do? I choose the next button and I click on add animation. I add one more fly in animation. And this next button should appear when the answer button is clicked. So I'll just drag this to the answer trigger and change it to red previous. Now right click a new next animation, right click, effect option, add some bounds as usual. I'm going to overuse this, please forgive me. And increase the duration a little more, change the effect options to from top or from light, it's your choice, whichever works for you. Now there's one more thing, whenever I open the question, the answer appears immediately. I don't want that. 
I want the ant fill to appear only once one of the shape is clicked on. That can also happen. So just click on the answer button. And since we already have two animations for answers, let us make one more answer animation. So I just click on the answer box, click on add animation and choose fly in one more time. So from the top, increase the duration, right click, effect options and add that smooth bounce. So now we have three animations for answer. If you had only two, add one more. And we are going to drag this on the click of every one wrong answer. So if someone presses A2, they are going to get the answer option. If someone presses A3, they are going to get the answer option. If someone clicks on A4, they are going to get the answer option. Just right click and choose start with previous. Now, if they click on the next button, they have to go to the next slide. So just click on next, go to insert, click on action, hyperlink to next slide. You can also add more animations if you want, if you want all these answers to appear in animation, the question to appear. So what I'm going to do is select all these, go to animation, add animation, you guessed it, fly in. Now right click all of this, click on effect option, add some bounce. And then increase the duration of the animations. Now, I want the question to appear a little faster, so just decrease the duration of question. And I want all of this to appear once I open the slide. So just choose the first one and click on start with previous. Now if I play the animation, it looks something like this. And this looks so much better. You can also have the animations of these two appear from the left hand side. So just click on A1, hold control on your keyboard, click on A3, choose effect options from left. Now these two are A2, press control, click on A4, effect options from right. And that is how we made a quick game. Now it is time to duplicate the slides. Duplicate it as much as you want and I'll have four here. And after this, I'm just going to copy slide number one, right click, copy, paste it and choose keep source formatting. And here I'll just have thank you, click on the shape, go to insert, action and hyperlink to end show. Done. That is it. We made the game and this game looks so much better than every other game out there. So now that is done, let us check the game out. I click on slideshow, click on start game, the questions appear, the answers appear, I click on the correct answer, next. Now we have the second question. It takes a few seconds to come and that is because we have the morph transition for two seconds. I'm going to choose slide three, hold control on my keyboard, slide four, slide five and change the transition to keep it random. Let's see what the computer wants to give us. And now you are going to ask me, Bhavish, all the answers are the first option. How do I shuffle it? Very simple. Drag this, put it there, then bring this here. <laughs> you just need to make four different variations with A, B, C, D, each being correct answers in each one of them. And then you can use it as many times as you would want. And now you have successfully created the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire PowerPoint Quiz Game. Congratulations! You can download this file completely for free at my website. You can also get the premium version. And in the next video, I'll show you how to have lifelines, time limits and a scoreboard. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Why don't you hit the like button, subscribe button and that will help me with the YouTube algorithm.